Instagram site called We Formed a Band basically kind of debunk the argument that there aren't many female, just basically non-male bands. You know how in festivals, festival lineups, there's kind of like this invisibility of a musician that is not white and male. So usually what the argument that we got from that is like, oh, because but there are no bands. We're like, okay, first of all, there's already so many initiatives right now that try to give more visibility to those artists. Like there's this one thing called Sirens on stage, which is just kind of like a booking agency that put female artists on like a website. And so they write us these handwritten notes where they say, hi, my name is whatever, I'm looking for a drummer for my indie rock bands, my influences are this and this. In their language, they're already not writing, because in German it's like kind of like a bit of a sexist language where you always say Schlagzeuger and instead of, and that is a female version, there's always a female version yeah. of the noun. So we try to like encourage people, if they send us stuff, like just say, oh, maybe you can write it a little bit more inclusive um, so that other people feel addressed. So far have been super nice about it and just be like, um, yeah, sure, we'll, uh, we'll do that. Yeah. And open to criticism, which I think is super, like we don't want to call anybody out. It's just like, sometimes you just don't think about it. But I think what is cool about Berlin is that it, it's so creative that a lot of the times I think artists from that genre also like collaborate with other artists or like experiment and it goes like, beyond the like genre borders and more into like art forms or something. So I don't think, like we're not like hardlining saying like, oh, it sucks, like there's no place for guitar music, fuck that. I think a really big influence is already that we recorded it in Berlin and like we wrote most of the songs in Berlin. We recorded it at uh, UFO Sound Studios, which is in Prenzlauer Berg, and then one song we recorded in Kreuzberg and I feel like it, it all happened during the summer months. I think to me it kind of has this like feel or taste or but maybe it's just like my nostalgic memory of it. it also draws a little bit on the startup culture Berlin or like about this being in a bubble and like following a thing but you're not really sure if that's what you want to follow at all but you're just like doing it. It's a good home base and the thing is we travel so much that it's always really nice to come back. Yeah, if, if we were there full time, I think we would still go other places to like record or write or something. Everyone in Berlin wants to move to New York or LA or London and then everyone in London wants to move to Berlin. Yeah. And everyone in New York wants to move to Berlin and blah. And everyone is just like hopping and like super restless and like just looking for things. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But I think Berlin is pretty good because it's cheap and it has good food. All the other places don't have that. Like Berlin is the best. And right now we're working with this festival called Jenseits von Millionen and they wanted to give like one bill spot to a band that has formed on We Formed a Band. The idea, most of the stuff we do with GER, like we don't think about it too much, we just do it and then it just goes its own way a little bit. So we even, if we had had more time, we would have loved to have like an extra opener for this tour, for example, and just get like these kinds of bands.